So today we're putting out 50 of these Dormouse nest boxes for a scheme that the Donkey Sanctuary is, is uh, running with expert and license holder Adrian Bailey. The scheme is based around a grid of 50 nest boxes which we put in at chest height so that they're easy to survey and over the months in the summer we'll come back and check those nest boxes looking for signs of Dormouse nesting inside the boxes and having their litters of young. So the holes at the back unlike a nest box for birds so that if you do think it's got a dormouse in you put a bung in the hole from behind and then you can have a little peek and look at it properly so the dormice don't uh, escape because there's no point disturbing the dormice if you're not going to get the actual evidence and the data from them so by finding nibbled nuts with the characteristic dormouse shaped hole in the in the side it means we know the dormice are here but the box scheme is going to provide us with that window into their world. When we lift the lid, it'll be done very, very gently, peering in from that side to see if there's a, a nest in there or not. No nest. No <laughs> nest. So we'll then move on to the next box, making sure that the lid fits snugly. And off we go to the next one. The boxes have been made over the past couple of months using volunteer help and uh, each numbered box is attributed to a volunteer and we'll be letting those people know how their box is getting on in the scheme over the coming months. It's on Hazel, so I'll, it's called that we've got Hazel and if you can give me a GPS coordinates for this one. No. The boxes at the moment are bright and fresh and easy to see but over the years they're going to weather and become harder to find so we make a note of each tree they're on, what species it is. We've got a map of where they are and also yep. we take GPS coordinates of each box just to be on the safe side so we never lose one. So here we are with the fantastic last box of the scheme. What a morning. Good morning's work though, Adrian. Yeah, excellent. Well, of these 50 boxes that we've put in now, it'll be a miracle if any of them get occupied in October, November, but there is always a chance. But there again, it may be six, seven years before any one box is occupied or any box is occupied. So we'd hope at least three or four boxes each month we'll have them from April, May through to October, possibly into November. The importance of dormice stems from their rarity and they're a good barometer of the health of the wider environment. Um, of course, they wouldn't normally be nesting in artificial boxes like this. What these are doing is recreating natural nest holes that would appear um, in a very old and natural structured uh, woodland. This one is very new secondary woodland and those sort of nesting opportunities don't exist. So we're providing them with that and in exchange for that, we're learning more about the dormice. There we go, a good day's work done. All 50 boxes are now in the wood, ready to be monitored next year. And over the coming months, Adrian and I will be coming back and monitoring the success of those boxes and finding out whether we've got dormice nesting.